What is destiny? It is the hidden power believed to control what will happen in the future. In my DMV3, I'll explore the big question of how world peace can be achieved through selflessness in conquering our destiny. I now plan to make sense of how my big question plays a role in the stories heard in class and in my particular level. What is the particular level? According to Boyd, the particular level focuses on the individual level, which is our niche. In this story, King Arthur is anxious to find the answer of what a woman most desires. After a couple of years in trying to obtain the answer, he is given the opportunity to obtain the answer by having his trusted knight, Gwen, marry Ragnell. Given by her appearance, Ragnell is said to be an ugly witch who is disliked by many citizens. Furthermore, King Arthur tells Gwen that in order for him to obtain the answer, he must marry Ragnell. In his decision-making process, Gwen with no doubt accepts the proposal to marry Ragnell. This story exemplifies how Gwen was eager and selfless in accepting the offer to marry Ragnell no matter what other people thought. He was willing to sacrifice his life for a friend in order for his friend to achieve his destiny by obtaining the answer, which is sovereignty. In the next story, Horton the elephant found a dandelion in which he was able to see that the Who people were real and living. Once Horton was able to see them, he wanted to tell the kangaroo and his subjects to not get rid of the dandelions, for they have millions of Who's living in them. Horton does whatever he can to fight for the lives of those people by going to the kangaroo and his people and taking personal sacrifice. However, his personal observation was not enough for others to see and believe as they could not see or hear them. Horton was unrelenting and continued to fight on the behalf of Whoville. This strength of belief and effort exemplifies his selflessness regardless of the constant ridicule and mistreatment. It was not until his actions rallied the people of Whoville to stand together as a voice until their goal was achieved for the citizens of Whoville. He constantly reminds us that a person is a person no matter how big or how small. In the story of Ragnall and Gawain, both were able to see that there was a major character transformation in King Arthur. King Arthur was able to resolve his character flaws by making his request of being openly and honestly to Gawain. Gawain, accepting marriage blindly, entered into an unknown by accepting the king's request based solely on trust and loyalty. This trust and loyalty exemplified his strength of good character. These individuals exemplified the freedom within their relationship that had been built upon the character of each other over time. Both were fulfilling their niche. The kangaroo exemplifies a transformation of character. In the beginning, the kangaroo and his supporters were not able to see or hear the who's, and so they did not believe Horton until finally at the moment the kangaroo and his supporters were going to attack, the whole town of Whoville managed to become loud enough so that they were able to be heard and not killed. From this moment, the kangaroo recognized that the who citizens did exist and so the kangaroo had a false belief about the who's, thinking they were imaginary. Through each story, we were able to see selfless actions through each character in order for them to achieve their goal in bringing peace and justice into the world. Each of the stories, again, amplifies my big question. But what if selflessness was not acted upon? Then one's destiny would not be achieved, and as a result of this would be selfishness. Selfishness is a lack of considering others. An example of selfishness is when one child hogs her toys and does not want to share with her friend at the playground. Looking at the universal level, everyone has the ability to undertake selflessness in bringing peace and justice to the world. A phenomenal figure who carried out a selfless act was Rosa Parks. She was recognized as the mother of the modern day civil rights movement in America. She refused to surrender her seat to a white male passenger which triggered a wave of protests in the United States. Because of her selflessness, she was able to be the catalyst of the modern civil rights movement. Looking back at my youth, I was always the quiet and thoughtless child. I was not the type to do acts of selflessness, but rather I was a follower who didn't stand up for myself and what I believed in. I remember a time when I was 15, I had a neighbor come knocking on her door yelling at my mom, and I did nothing about it. This moment made me very angry and reflect on myself of what kind of daughter I am to her. That same year, I decided to take initiative in my life by taking public speaking classes and standing up for what I believed in. From then on, I have been an advocate for those on the DREAM Act and in pro-life matters, which will get me further in achieving my destiny.